Lucky again, and uh, the, today is a rat deck. It is not a strict rat deck. It has a lot of different things going on in it, but um, rats are the theme here. And um, I call this deck Sewer Dwellers, I think is appropriately titled. Um, so there are 14 rat colony in here. Every rat that you add beyond the first adds plus one plus oh so it just they get big quick they are they are fragile they have a uh, toughness of one regardless of how many you have on the board um, you know, I, I my last iteration of this was very close to this I just made one small tweak to it and that is that I added a second Luris in here just because it's so nice to be able to you know use these as blockers or come in and be aggressive with them and then be able to bring a new one back every turn in addition to whatever you're playing when you have Luris on the board. So um, so I'm going to tell you all the rat specific themes here. So there's 14 rat colony. There's two typhoid rat and I'd like to have more than two. I'd like to have three or four and I would probably sacrifice one or two rat colonies to do so. There's a couple reasons for this. One is that it's a one drop, which is nice to be able to get these on early. They have death touch. Okay, so um, in addition to that, um, when we use Call of the Death Dweller, which there are two of, it allows you to return up to two target creatures with a total converted mana cost of three or less. So, say you've lost a rat colony and you've lost a typhoid rat, you could bring both of them back with Call of the Death Dweller. Additionally, they'd get counters on them, so you could make the rat colony uh, come back with a death touch counter and the typhoid rat add menace in addition to death touch. <clears throat> okay, so you have two typhoid rats, 14 rat colony, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, three piper of the swarm. Now, this is a key card in this deck. Uh, it contains a mechanism which you're going to want to use. Um, this is this deck, I should say, is particularly effective against creature decks um, because this has two things it can do, but it also gives rats. All rats you control will have menace when Piper of the Swarm is on the board. You pay two and tap Piper. It creates a 1-1 one, one black rat token. Uh, you pay four and tap Piper of the Swarm. You can sack three rats and gain control of target creature. Okay, so that's a huge thing. So you're able to kind of create these tokens and then sack them and take other people's creatures. So there's three Pipers in here, and there are times you'll have two on the board, which is just a great thing because on a single turn, you can create a rat with one of these and sack three rats with the other and take control of a creature. Uh, so uh, yeah, there's that. There's a little more though. There's one more card in here, Mad Ratter. Only one, it's, a, it's pricey. It's a four drop, one, two. Again, fragile, four drop, mm. But whenever you draw your second card, each turn, create two one, one black rat to creature tokens, okay? So this feeds the Piper of the, of the Swarm that mechanism. So you can, if you get the right combination of things on the board, be taking creature after creature from the opponent. Now, do we have card draw? Yeah, not much, not a lot. But um, what it is, the card draw that we have, I'm going to show you what we have. And it's pretty darn limited. We have one village rights. So you can sack a creature, draw two cards. There's one. The next is Blind Blast. Only one of these in the deck. Deals one damage to target creature. That creature can't block this turn. Draw a card. Now, you're going to say, why do I have Blind Blast in there? That's not going to kill many creatures. Um, there is a reason for, for that. But, so there's two card draws. And the last, which is the gift that keeps on giving, is Phyrexian Arena. You have to be a little careful with this because there's not much life gain in this deck. If you get this on early, it can just eat your life up. Every turn, you lose a life and you draw an extra card, which is huge. And when you have Mad Ratter on, it's a you, it's an engine for just creating two rat tokens every turn. It's amazing. 
but you have to be prepared to take care of business. Um, so putting this on third turn is scary. I've lost a game on the last turn um, where I would have won it the following turn, but I had one life left, left and Phyrexian Arena took that life. I totally had the enemy dead the next turn. So you have to be a little bit careful. All right, so, so there's the rat thing, and there's the card draw engine that contributes to the rat thing. Oh, the other thing I didn't mention is the Castle Lockthwain. Two of them in here, also card draw. So Mad Ratter's not lost for a card draw. There is some card draw. Um, not a ton, but it's enough. So then another piece of this deck is returning cards that are lost because you're going to lose cards in this. Don't get uh, attached to them. You're going to lose them. But we have... Um, Call of the Death Dweller. So you have two of these in here. You can bring one or two creatures, total converted mana cost of three or less, back to the battlefield. In addition to that, as you heard at the beginning, I have two Luris in here. So um, you can only have one on at a time. It's legendary. But every turn that this is on the board, you can bring something back, a permanent, with a mana cost of two or less. So a, a tremendous thing to be able to be aggressive, attack with rat colonies, knowing you're going to get one back the next turn. So, um, besides what you play uh, from hand. So, there's, between the two college of Star and two Luris, I do think that's enough to kind of uh, make a big difference. All right, so next, on to the next piece here. And that is something, if you've seen my Menace deck, you're familiar with. Three Pestilent Spirits in here. So this is a Menace creature with Death Touch. It's a 3-2. It is somewhat fragile. But it's only a 3-drop, so it can be saved by Call of the Death Dweller. Um, and what Pestilent Spirit does is it gives your uh, instant and sorcery spells Death Touch. So what, what, what works with Pestilent Spirit? Well, Blazing Volley. This is a 1-drop red that sorcery card that deals one damage to each opponent's creatures. So that means they're all dead. They're all dead. There's almost nothing that saves them because it's not target creature. Hexproof won't save them. It's all creatures. The only thing that saves them is to bounce them off the board with something blue like Unsummon or to play uh, one of those few white spells that um, give protection from a color or give indestructible temporarily. So, super potent. Now, not only Blazing Volley, but we have Blind Blast in here. And here's the one that I told you was card draw, so it's dual purpose. It can kill a creature with a single shot, okay? Um, and draw a card. And beyond that, we're not done, folks. Cosmotronic Wave. Two of these in here. Now, it is a four drop. That's a pricey um, item for something that... Uh, where we have Blazing Volley, that's only a one drop. But Cosmotronic does one thing that Blazing Volley does not do. If you don't have Pestilent Spirit on the board, and you have a bunch of, um, it's late in the game, you have a bunch of rat colonies and whatnot on the board, but there's a good amount of blockers across the way, you play Cosmotronic Wave. It does one damage to each creature. Um, not only does that wipe out all of the scoot swarms and whatnot, those one ones, but every creature that it doesn't kill cannot block this turn. So then you can come in with everything and possibly end the game. So there's Cosmotronic Wave and why it's in here. All right, so um, beyond that, it's just supporting cast. <clears throat> We have one Grim Dancer in here, and this is specifically in here because you can put two counters on it. Death Touch, Menace, Life Link. You can choose what's best at the time, what is most commonly best in this deck. I have this in my Menace deck as well, and I used it slightly differently. But is we need Life Link from this guy. We have very little Life Link in this deck. We have Phyrexian Arena, which is tapping our life if you get it on. Um, you, this isn't a really great deck for blocking big creatures, but if you put Lifelink and Death Touch on this, it is a great card. Nobody wants to block a Death Touch creature. So, yeah, and he can be uh, brought back with Luris. 
as can almost everything in this deck. As a matter of fact, I believe every creature can be brought back with Luris because they're, oh no, not Luris, I'm sorry, with um, Call of the Death Dweller. The three drops you cannot bring back with Luris. So just to be clear, Grim Dancer, um, Pestilent Spirit, they are not, and Mad Ratter, they are not coming back with Luris, but um, Call of the Death Dweller is here. <clears throat> so yeah, that's Grim Dancer. Three Pestilent Spirits, you know what they do now. The two Luris, now you can use this in its lifelink ability um, in a pinch as well. And then we have one Varaska's Contempt, the last card not mentioned. And um, Varaska's Contempt is a four drop and you can exile a target creature or planeswalker and you gain two life. Okay, another rare life gain in this deck, and a, but a very potent card. You know, you have some decks that regenerate things. Kill it dead. Exile it. So, and that is the deck. I'm going to show you the, the mana base here, which is two castles, as I mentioned before. Very important for card draw in this deck. Twelve Swamp, five Mountain, four Dragon Skull Summit. And that's the whole thing. And let's play a few games. Okay, uh, I'm going to take this hand. It's it's not great, but we can play a bunch of twos. We have Blazing Volley. We just need a Pestilent Spirit and some more mana. It does seem, I'm not a complainer really, but it does seem like I go first almost never. Um, it's remarkable. Got a lot of cats here. This does have the embalm feature. They're going to get some life gain out of it though. They may have an instant. I'm really surprised they'd be coming in here with these guys. I think I'm just going to let them in. Sorry about the slow play here. They opt to not do that. So we'll bring a rat colony on and then we'll use Piper to create a rat. So we can take a creature. Next turn, if we choose, no attacks. We can also unload Blazing Volley on these guys. Okay, they're going to move. And that, yeah, I think we're going to use Blazing Volley here. 
So what we're going to do is create a token. Get the right one, create a token. Um, put up the typhoid rat. And then use blazing volley. Okay, and then we'll come swinging for a lot. So that worked out pretty good. And if they bring on something of consequence, I can just steal it and then come on in. Oh, that's nice. They got some life gain there. Or they paid life. My goodness. Okay, so they're going to drop these guys back on the board. Can they do that in an instant fashion? I don't know. Um, These have um, menace, so I don't know if they're taking that into account, but we'll see. They're going to have to get two of those on. Oh, settle the wreckage. Okay, that's no good. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay. We get a whole lot of lands. And that's actually really excellent news. We'll bring on another. Actually, we'll use the Piper to create a token right now. Okay. Impressive. We are not in terrible shape, in fact. Pacifism, okay. That's okay, actually. Not the worst thing. Okay, so now we have so much mana here. Um, We can actually go ahead and steal one of those right now if we want. I think we're going to wait though. We, oh, we also have this. Um, geez. I have so much mana that I can actually get this done this turn, I believe. Win the game here. this turn. So they got a big dilemma here. Unless they have a board wipe. Okay. I think we can manage that. I think he'll put the pride mate on the board. And we'll simply steal him. Yep, they see it coming. Not happy about that at all.
Okay, we got some big problems here. a little bit of an improvement. I think we'll just bring out Grim Dancer. Go with Death Touch Life Link. That's good news. It buys us a turn. They could bring on another creature that have to tap for mana. They'll use the Llanowar. That is what they're considering. Oh, Rabid Bite. Well, that's terrible. That is absolutely flipping terrible. We gotta take it. We need a, a volley. We don't get it. Well, we what we can do here is this. Um, okay. And really, they should be coming in with everything here. Force us to use Lurus. They have stunted their attack a bit by tapping their creatures from mana and giving me one more turn to come up with a Blazing Volley. And there it is. They say good game. Little do they know. Little do they know. We can't really use... Yeah, I think we can use Phyrexian Arena because we can come in with Luris here. And that's a change of uh, the landscape. Wow. Good game. Oof. Oof. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Rim Dancer. No doubt. We're talking about Death Touch and Lifelink. Rat Colony. Okay, let's bring it. Wow, how's that from dead to winning? Excellent. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, have a great night.